We tell stories at Milwaukee PBS. Here's one you may have missed. I'm Sandy Max, host of the Arts Page. We bring you art stories from around Wisconsin and around the world. Waukesha native John Cashed has been drawing famous faces in his own signature style for over 30 years. Two dozen of his caricature artworks are on display at the National Portrait Gallery. You can find his drawings in magazine and print publications across the country. John Cashed visited the Waukesha County Historical Society and Museum as part of his Making Faces exhibition there, and he shared his fascination with people and his creative process to portrait making. There's a conception, and it's a misconception, that caricature is about distortion. What makes people think of distortion is that it's very exaggerated, it's very amplified, but there's a big difference there. I'm amplifying in the direction of what makes that person unique. My name is John Cash, and I'm a caricaturist. Caricature is not cartooning, it's not illustration, it's not a comic strip. Caricature is a very specialized form of portraiture. Like all portraitists, caricaturists are interested in nailing the likeness. What it is is an investigation into exactly what makes a person unique, and you, f you find the things that make you different from everybody else, and then those things get amplified. And the more of the nuances that make that person unique that I can observe and then get into a drawing, the more complete the likeness is. And the, and the greater the recognition on the part of the person looking at it, where they say, yes, I recognize that person. I was very much that kid in the back of class drawing the teachers. And this, the thing about me is I never stopped. I'm still kind of drawing the teachers or the authority figures anyway, but now it's politicians, performers, you know, that kind of thing. I've drawn primarily celebrities, or, you know, notable public figures. So when I'm drawing an idea that I have, I usually do very quick thumbnail sketches just to kind of start mapping out the the way the piece could look. I draw on vellum, transparent vellum, so that if I have a, something in a sketch that I like, I'll slide it under a fresh sheet, draw over the top of it, and keep the parts I like, don't keep the parts I don't like, until eventually I've got the fully realized sketch that I want to paint from. I use watercolor and paint in light layers of glaze. Ideally, if I have 16 hours to 20 hours on something, you know, obviously each piece has its own requirements, but 16 to 20 hours is a great amount of time for me for an average piece in my style. The Waukesha County Historic Society Museum was founded in 1914, so we've got more than 100 years uh, behind us of celebrating what this region, what Waukesha County has to offer in the world and what impacts we've made in the world. Making Faces is our feature exhibition. The artist John Cash is originally from uh, Waukesha, city of Waukesha, graduate of Catholic Memorial High School, just a mile and a quarter down the road from here. Uh, and so a really lovely way to celebrate someone from this part of the world and, and to really take and appreciate his accomplishments. The wonderful nature of the work that John does is that he as the artist gets to retain very often the original that he makes. And so he's been kind of sitting on this incredible back catalog, uh, 30 years worth of work. The exhibition here is a collection of about 100-ish pieces that are my favorites. Bill Murray is one of the large format prints and we put him kind of front and center right inside the gallery space as you walk in. So we really start with, just in general, what goes into his caricature and portraiture work, things like body language, and also what the process is to get to a finished product. And really take people on that journey from appreciating what this art form can be when it's done to the expert level that John's able to achieve on through its multiple iterations and, and kind of uses. My favorite piece is the first piece of work he ever sold. It's a political cartoon that he sold to the Waukesha Freeman. One day I just went down to the Waukesha Freeman offices with a bunch of my drawings of the teachers, of family members, 
and I just, I went in and asked to see the editor because I had in my mind that I wanted to do political cartoons because that's where I was seeing caricature work. Jim Houston is his name. He was the editor of the Freeman at the time. I think because he was puzzled, he agreed to meet with me. I was 14 and amazingly, he said I could submit cartoons to them. He, and in retrospect, I realized he did me a great favor, a great service there professionally. He took me seriously at that age. And I started identifying myself as, as a professional. And to, to start with that piece and to be able to see everything that's come after that is just this incredible story of what a lifetime of work can do. My favorite things in the exhibition actually are the sketches because to me that's where the creativity really is. The likeness is happening or it's not. And when it's not, boy, it can be tough. But then when I finally capture it, it it's really still, to me, feels like a miracle when that person is looking back at me from the paper. With caricature, you think of, you know, big nose, big chin, big ears. That stuff's all part of it, but so are nuances like a person's particular skin tone. Do they slouch? Do they sit up straight? How, do they use their hands a lot? Are they more contained and don't reveal much. All of those nuances convey ultimately who we are on the inside. I'm still amazed that how we hold ourselves outwardly says so much and, and says so accurately who we are on the inside. I feel in some ways I'm trying to learn about myself one person at a time. Watch the Arts Page on Milwaukee PBS and watch online at milwaukeepbs.org.